So I'm just going to preface this video with the fact that this is not for, like, specifically anyone. Like, this is for maybe me to send to some people who play Total Mayhem with me, and prove that, yes, the matchmaking does in fact pair me with absolute droolers for really no apparent reason. Yes, I still play Total Mayhem, and such and such. But yeah, this is a game that I had, well, it happened like about 20 minutes ago in my time, but this will probably be uploaded like the day after or something like that, or whenever I can, basically. So, just a normal game, late at night, I wasn't grouping with anyone, and this person is on my team, this Anna main. Now, as the match starts, you'll notice this player is incredibly bad. First off, uh, not using mobility to get to the point, and uh, yeah, just emoting at the start of the match, when everyone needs to rush to the point. Uh, we have an AFK player, but that's honestly probably better than uh, having this player. So, yeah, what a shot was that. Uh, you'll notice this player does not like to use primary fire much, and uh, despite being Echo, who can fly, chooses not to fly. And here's the first death they have. They decide to go straight into a pole and get killed by a tracer. We're, so, uh, yeah, off to a good start. Uh, still don't have this, uh, fifth player on our team. I believe, yeah, they disconnect and we get someone else relatively soon, but it doesn't matter because this player is, uh, not helping at all. So, uh, this is being, I don't know why Overwatch does this, but it counts, uh, my team as the red team, so it would be, like, opposite colors of what this player would have seen. And yeah, they, they took a bit of damage, they're on about half health, so they decide to run back to spawn. Maybe they're changing hero to someone better. Nope, they're just going to heal. So, uh, yeah. Not running to our, uh, out Moira, who... This Moira, despite being actually a console player, I saw it in the menus, uh, is actually fairly competent. Now, uh... So, yeah, that's second death from, uh, the Echo here. I won't have, like, everything to say over everything that happens here. There'll be times where I'm just, like, stunned because of how bad this person is. But yeah, it's it's going to get better and worse at the same time. So, they've already pushed to the first checkpoint. It's, like, less than two minutes in. Okay, well, it's roughly two minutes in. Uh, they get a fast respawn because of the thing that happens when you cap the first point in this mode. I don't know why it happens, but it just does. I believe it may be a glitch. But yeah, currently is uh, trying to deal with this Doomfist and Junker Queen that are spawn camping them. Um, I did type in chat that they needed to ignore them and rush to the, uh, the robot because that's how you win this game. And uh, God bless them, they at least did that. Unfortunately, uh, this is like asking a blind man to uh, help you with your crossword. Okay, no, that's a bad analogy, because at least a blind man would have knowledge. So, yep, uh, died to another Moira beam, which honestly doesn't really do that much damage. It's mostly for healing. But, yep, try, try again. We at least have five players now, so you think, well, hopefully we'll at least stop and stall them now. Now, coming up is the most confusing play you'll ever know. So, here it comes. Uh, Echo decides to try and copy Zenyatta. Uh, doesn't attack during all that time. And at least is... Oh, it looks like you're about to get Zenyatta down. And nope. Pops ult while Zenyatta was on like 10 health. Like a coward. Saves himself. And... Oh my god, that that play, just when I first looked at this replay to confirm this player is actually terrible, stunned me. Also, uh, once again, ignoring that Zenyatta that uh, almost killed, decides to stay in this corner for a, a little bit. I believe there may be a tiny amount of uh, lag, because there is some snapping, but that's also to be expected from the Overwatch replay code. They're pushing the robot, by the way, and this Echo is uh, not even trying to contest. Just spamming off sticky bombs for no avail. This Echo currently has uh, zero kills, I'd like to point out, and uh, will continue to have no kills until they swap to someone else. 
So... Echo, at least, is like, oh, I'm gonna try and kill this Zenyatta. Nope. Zooms past. Has 324 HP. Doesn't even bother to try and go after the Zen. Just got duped like an old-school cartoon character. Hey, look, Moira has another beam, decides to go kill. I think she took a lot of damage from the Doomfist ult as well, somehow. Despite the fact that, you know, Echo can fly. Yeah, redeploying. Maybe you should redeploy yourself as a different character. Or maybe at least try and use a primary fire. So, uh, that was my ult. Uh, I stunned three enemy team members and the Echo decided, Oh, that was an ult. I'm going to move backwards instead of actually, you know, firing on the stunned units. So, uh, yeah. Good, good team player. There's a Junker Queen ult. Obviously going to deal significant damage to this, uh, Echo because... Despite the fact that that's our Moira's, uh, ult there, so that would heal her if, uh, she got in. Now, it decides to back up where the healer isn't. I wish I could change the color of this so that it's actually, you know, what you'd see, like, what you'd see if you were on my team, but yeah. So, decides to copy Moira. Moira is a solid pick. Uh, notice, not throwing a single orb, like through one orb at the start and that's it, and uses the ult, and tries to kill a Bastion, fails miserably, because uh, their healers are still alive, and instead of flying away, Nut flies directly to the ground, dies to the Bastion ult. Maybe if you either killed the Bastion or flew into the sky, you'd be safe, but no. Unfortunately, this Echo is, a, uh, you know, lukewarm intelligence. So, Anna main finally swaps to Anna, which you would expect. Anna is a very good pick in uh, Total Mayhem, because constant uh, anti-heals that you can apply. Now, you'll notice that we have Winston now. Winston is also very high tier. So, all those red bubbles are, are not red bubbles for, for her. Uh, decides to heal herself when she's on basically full HP. I think she actually was on full HP, but it doesn't matter. Uh... Throws a sleep dart at our Bastion instead of, like, doing anything to heal him. Eats 300 damage from the Doomfist ult because it doesn't try to move. Stand still. Oh my god, this... I'm still awestruck at how bad you can be. So this Anna would have gotten cred for uh, applying a few anti-heals as kills, but, uh, yeah. So, we're currently trying to swat a Moira around the robot. And this Anna isn't doing anything. She she could try to throw some grenades at the Moira, but she she's just not doing anything. She's looking around, utterly dumbfounded. The two brain cells clashing with each other. She's got one bullet in her rifle and isn't reloading. Finally throws a grenade and is like, oh, okay, maybe I can uh, solo this Zenyatta. Nope. Unfortunately, she had to reload. And she also threw the grenade before she shot, which is a big mistake, because it allows Zen to move, and uh, yeah, he gets his ult off. They have a Wrecking Ball now, aka the Bane of Total Mayhem. So I don't think uh, you're going to get much progress. Now what you're supposed to do when you're pinned is to throw a grenade at the ground, and then try to sleep the Rhine. But she did none of that. She instead shot straight forwards and uh, accomplished nothing and died. Like... It's not easy to kill a Rhino's Anna, but you can at least escape reliably. Now, after accomplishing uh, pretty much nothing, switches to D.Va. D.Va is probably one of the more brain-dead characters, because it's like, oh yeah, you at least throw the nuke out every now and then, and you can do something. But uh, it seems this D.Va is content to stay in the back lines and try and shoot out, like, micro-missiles for no damage. So D.Va isn't really solid in this mode, like, Pretty much, uh, okay, most of the other tanks are better. There are some worse. Uh, you can see that's probably some delay there. Or they're either spamming the mouse. But yeah, while everyone is dueling with the enemy team, this D.Va is just not helping anyone. Yeah, the Winston died, but we got two of theirs. D.Va has uh, accomplished pretty much nothing. You know you can cancel out of that dash. Like, that would have been a very easy way to kill that Rhine, because he was trapped. But no, she, uh, dashes right past him. I get pinned here. What does D.Va do? Uh, she does nothing. She's trying to stay by the robot, but Winston's doing that. 
Winston is actually being a good team player here. This Winston was uh, kind of goaded this match. Helped us a great deal. But uh, yeah. Uh, there was no killing this Junker Queen. She was uh, pocketed by the Moira. And uh, this is going to be the end of this D.Va. Because this D.Va walks into this signpost for about 10 seconds. And then either disconnects or leaves. Honestly, it could have been either. But yeah, that's basically what I say when I get paired with the absolute droolers in this game. Like, it's a surprise that matchmaking even, like, works in this game. You know, skill-based matchmaking is supposedly a thing, but yeah, I don't see it. So yeah, you'll notice that they got all that way and we made no progress and it's about to go into overtime. Well, thankfully, overtime in Total Mayhem is, uh, you know, not much. You can see this is still a 27-minute game, roughly. And to give you some good news, um, we actually won this game. Like, we managed to pull this game out of the canals of death because, uh, well, maybe it's because we had a wrecking ball. This Wrecking Ball was actually terrible at the game, but at least they did the one thing they needed to do, which is uh, spam the shield button. So yeah, with some uh, skillful pins on my part, uh, the Winston being a, you know, a shield bot, and the Moira being a pretty goaded healer, uh, we managed to win, and I, it just ends there. But yeah, that's, that's all I had to say about this horrid, horrid match. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bye.